All right, now let's continue the demonstration. Here is number 15, a uh, history operation. So we're talking about three hotkeys. First will be the control C, that's for remove the histogram, and V for the operation, and O to R, this means the truncation or expansion. Okay, let's start from the control C. Actually, it's pretty easy. So for example, we have four histogram here, and suppose I don't want the three and four, I want to uh, remove it from our list. So we click that, so for, click the first pad, and hit Control C, it's with gun, and jump jump to the first histogram here. So now it's just the three. Okay, so I dis display this, then you can well find out what happened easily. Click this one, the third one, and I hit Control C, it's uh, is what display the first one. Uh, remember, when you remove it, is the history of gun, but the display, this display, will still be there, but it will change to the first history only. All right. So this is uh, how to remove the history. Now we will dis um, discuss how to use the V key for the history operation. So the history operation is pretty uh, interesting. Uh, first, for example, we want to add up two histograms to another histogram. Uh, for example, we want to create a third histogram. That would be the, uh, the first one and second one add up together. So uh, when you hit the v, v, v key, it will pop out histogram operation panel for you. So you can type in some mathematical expression. Uh, here I was having 99 equal to 1 plus 2. 99 just kind of number that's uh, over the range of the histogram list. So you can actually type 3 or 4, whatever. Um, only you need to improve the number bigger than 2. Now you will create a new histogram for you. Uh, so we hit enter. So we got the third one. This, uh, this one. Uh, the third one will be his spectrum number one plus spectrum number two here. So, for example, um, if we want to update the third spectrum, uh, will be uh, to the um, this minus uh, this is also possible. So now we have three in our list, but we want to update, so we use um, deal number three. Now we suppose one, um, how about one minus two? Okay, hit enter, now you get this. Okay, um, you can also do a, a operation for multiply by a constant. For example, uh, let's say, uh, just just for, for fun, this is a y equals to 300 count, and we want to make it double, so you type uh, shift B uh, to pop out the history operation. Now it's two equal to let's say uh, 1.5 or two two point five. Let's just make a number here times two. Okay, and hit enter. So you you observe the Y become around 750. So it actually uh, 2.5 times. All right, so there are one more uh, operations uh, you can do. So now you have three spectrum. Uh, let's say we want to make a copy of uh, this one to a new one. Uh, of course, you can use uh, uh, four equal to three, uh, one times three, like this. Uh, th this will be a little bit uh, redundant. Because uh, you you know this is one just multiply one, okay. So there is a more easier way. Just use a four equals to three over R. You can say ninety nine equals to three, okay. So now you have four spectrum. All right. Okay. This is a, a short demonstration for using the big V here. Now go to the. Uh, Alter plus R here. Uh, this is for truncational expansion. Okay, let's just use the first one as an example here. Uh, 
For example, I see there is some space here. Actually, there is some just a value between minus one and one. So I feel like uh, actually we don't need much range. Uh, so how about we cut it minus two and just uh, two here. So we sh shift uh, alter plus R. Uh, we type in two minus two. Okay, so it's just become two and minus two is, is lower minimum and two is upper limit. And uh, remember when you do this operation, it will still keep the same bin size. That that means uh, sorry bin width. That means that uh, you can do the same thing three minus three to uh, to return to its original uh, size and with the same bin width. Okay, so sometimes it's quite useful because uh, you, you will see your uh, spectrum only has value at low energy part and you want to cut all the unnecessary uh, higher energy noise or lower energy noise. You, you can do this. For example, I want to just cut uh, this to positive and I don't want negative part. So I can do uh, 0 ohms 3. Now it's gone, and then I have 3 minus 3. Okay. Now, the data will not be returned because uh, once you uh, 0 and 3 will just discard all this half here. Alright, so let's go to the next uh, demonstration here. Actually, this will be uh, very simple. It just uh, change the the style and the titles. Okay, so first change the title. Change the title. You you can do it many ways. For example, you uh, click that. Uh, you can uh, use the default and change. I think there is a change title somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> I can find it. Edit text maybe. Hmm. No. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, I will use my hotkey to control and T. And I can change uh, this uh, title. Okay, cool. <laughs> if you want to add uh, the label for the x axis, it's still possible here. Uh, and remember here, set title. This is x axis. Okay. So once you ch set up the title axis, uh, it's good to use the set title because the set title would uh, back up your current setting uh, to another backup list. So that means uh, when you do the compression and recompress, you will still keep uh, this side. Um, because when you compress and uncompress, it will read the backup histogram. And when you use the set uh, set title I mean, and then change the title, this function uh, you will uh, override the backup setting. So now you, your uh, histogram will always look the same with the label set up here. All right. So this is a change title. Uh, so now we're talking about a two D histogram style. So let's see whether we have two D here. Okay. So. You, when you type F1 here, it will change the uh, displays by draw and draw color, draw color Z2. I think it's all made out too, so displays will quicker. So here, this, when you type F1, then there is a uh, label here. Okay, so when you hit F2, it will change the marker. Okay, and uh, you hit F3, it will uh, okay, maybe color. You chose in the log uh, scale in x axis, y and uh, x. Sorry, should be uh, z, uh, y, x, and no uh, log scale. Okay, cool. So let's go on to the uh, to this, next one. So let's back to the display here. Uh, let's try to use another one. Uh, tap F1, you will get a feel style change. So just two. So you can. Uh, sometimes I feel like uh, if you feel uh, the 
change the field style, it will be more easy to identify where the peaks. Some some cases just make me easy. Okay, and F two can change the beam width. The, sorry, the line width. So here we are, and the final one, the change the log scale in y axis here. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you use log scale line line or the mark line would uh, not behave really well, and that's the reason because I don't use the NDC coordinate. Uh, so far, it's hard to convert uh, that from my understanding because I try to look it up, but since not so easy because I want to change that uh, not just draw a bunch of line or clean it yes so there's some difficulty but it's, it's, yeah, please bear with it <laughs> alright so this is the final part of the demonstration and the write out or reading rule files so uh, to write out the, the histogram uh, you see and to to the root file very easy so so far we have a histogram like uh, four histograms and one uh, 2D histogram so we hit Control C sorry Control W for write down uh, uh, you can type here that's what we have well, I opened it, uh, before uh, so I can type in like a uh, test okay so uh, so let's read in so you type control R to read in R so here so what will happen is it uh, get into the histogram like uh, we have one two three four and it's a little copy here but it uh, only updates the this only 2D screen. So the thing is that you will uh, append the old the 1D screen, but only update the 2D screen as I mentioned before. So uh, I think that's my demonstration here. I hope you will enjoy using the root scope and. If you uh, have further questions, just uh, leave the comment for me. Thank you very much for your time and watching. Bye-bye.